The coronavirus continues to spread throughout China and around the world. More than a thousand deaths confirmed. Let's bring in Dr. Luisa Petra. And the question here, obviously, is there going to be an end, Luisa, for this outbreak? Some are saying that the warmer temperatures could kill the virus. Is that possible? He, uh, good morning, Cheryl. Historically speaking, yes, uh, warmer temperature uh, tend to uh, slow down the spreading of a viral infection. And that's because people don't stay as much inside uh, spaces because these respiratory viruses do spread through respiratory droplets. Basically, you sneeze and you can share 10, uh, 100,000 droplets up to six feet. That's, uh, that's why they are so contagious basically in winter months we see this surge of cases. Are you surprised that there's more deaths now, that this is more of a deadly virus than SARS, and that it's also 20% more deadly than the flu, which usually that targets you know, young children with weak immune systems and the elderly, but this is young people are dying from the coronavirus. Right. Uh, coronavirus is much more aggressive virus than flu. The fatality rate, as you said, is 20% higher. Uh, also, it spreads faster, like one coronavirus case can spread it to three people versus flu would spread to 1.3 people. So therefore, it spreads much faster. You actually can see a doubling of the cases in seven days at this speed as it goes. That's amazing. Wow. Well, hopefully they can get a handle on this. And I know there's a vaccine maybe soon. Let's move to the other issue. It is Heart Health Month. This is February and heart disease, the number one killer in the United States. What are things that we can do to change because this? Because 80% of cardiac events are actually preventable. That's true. And this is a great reminder for women to prioritize our uh, hearts because we can do something to prevent these uh, uh, cardiac events. Basically, one in three women die of a cardiac event mm. and we get our mammograms every year but one in 30 women dies of breast cancer let's look at this so there are two wow. two points i would uh uh, recommend everyone to take home number one is prevention implementing um, what's called American Heart Association seven steps they are simple lifestyle modification steps you can search more and learn about can lead to 80% reduction mm -hmm. and second is awareness because women do not seek medical attention. We don't want to be complainers. We dismiss our symptoms of stress and anxiety. Wow. And you know your body. If it's different, just go to, to your doctor. Real quick, I do want to show a full screen. It's, uh, it's smoking, it's alcohol use, it's, it's watching your diet. Physical inactivity is a poor thing. You want to be at a healthy weight. Things, and, and your blood pressure. And we know these things. Correct. We need to do more. Exactly. to advance these things. Louisa, thank you so much for being here. Dr. Thank Louisa you for having Petra. me. All right, Lauren, over to you.